Hello and welcome to Die Rolling. I'm Adam and today I'm going to be opening up Life Siphon by Lay Waste Games. Easy for me to say. <laughs> so uh, this game is made by the same guys who did Dragoon, which is one of my favourite games to play at lunchtimes. Um, and this seems like a bit of a kind of sequel to that game because in Dragoon you're playing dragons who are basically uh, awoken from their slumber and they're taking over the realm of mankind. Whereas uh, this one starts off with uh, the dragons have taken over up above. So um, you've basically been exploring underneath the earth and you've come across this shiny box, uh, which when you open, you become cursed. Uh, the whole game is about um, attacking the player to your left, I believe. Um, and the the main kind of thing you've got is your life force. So basically the game ends when the first per well, when there's only one person left alive. Um, it sounds very similar to God's Forge, which is another game I have. Um, so maybe we'll do a comparison at some point. Um, but the one thing I really like about Lay Waste Games, the artwork they have is really good. So I'm very much looking forward to opening this up and having a look inside. Okay, so uh, this is the box, lovely artwork on the front here. And uh, really nice looking meatballs in here. Looking forward to seeing what they look like. Let's get straight into it. Bless you, random disembodied voice. I didn't realize the uh, the box had sneezed, but there we go. Right, so uh, straight away, attention cursed person. Yeah, you. Do not throw away these boards after you move all the pieces. So, and um, we've got a couple of boards here. As always with my unboxing videos, uh, I never really know what the hell this stuff's for. Because I've normally forgotten what the, uh, what the game is about. Um, <laughs> So some, uh, these are kind of like your player um, player boards here, which uh, tell you what to do on your turns, which is uh, always helpful. And on the other side, it's just like a little spell book you got there. That's quite cool. And there's four of those. This is a four player game. And here is the board itself. So um, with Dragoon, Dragoon came on a really nice um, kind of mat like a kind of table like a tea towel kind of material um what material would you call that don't know don't know the box doesn't know um probably tea towel like a tea towel kind of material like like uh, muslin kind of muslin it's not, it's not well, we don't. Well, anyway, this is a regular board. It does not come on a muslin or any other kind of material other than cardboard. Uh, but the artwork, really nice. Um, player's life around the outside, I assume. Um, and this is where you're going to be putting all your minions to fight the, uh, the other people. And a rule book. Excellent. That's always handy when they uh, include rule books in these things. Um, not a massive rule book, which is great because I don't want to spend ages reading the rules. Which is fine because I never normally read the rules anyway. I just um, just take it as I go. Um, okay, and then we've got some cards here. And one of the nice things here, they've uh, put one of these little things in here where it's very easy to open your cards up. Um, a lot of the time when you have one of these games, you're using, um, using your teeth or other implements to open up. Um, however, I can't open this up with how I'm, uh... there we go, perfect, right, so, cool, watching you. a grown man fail to open cards with an easy open um, bit on it, which is fine, um, okay, so here's some cards here, just going to chuck this in, really nice artwork there, like I say, no idea what any of this stuff does, um, but hey, they, they look cool. Um, and then we've got, so I know that Dragoon, you had two different color cards. You had like orangey cards, which were like instant cards, and then uh, kind of white cards, which were you play as an action card. So um, they've got a similar color scheme in this, but then there are these brown cards as well. Hmm. Tote material. Tote material. Like what you'd have for a tote bag, right? Yeah, okay, so we, we, we reckon that the, uh, the material that the Dragoon mat was made out of was tote material. I don't know if that's an actual material, but tote bags are a thing. Well, actually, it's the same material as this, this bag here is made out of, actually. Um, I'm assuming the, the meeples are in here. 
and I'm just struggling to open this up with both my hands. So uh, excellent. Straight away, we've got some lovely silica gel to eat. Uh, always nice when they include some snacks. Uh, please don't eat those. And then, oh, all the maples are loose. Go and dice tower it and just chuck everything on there. So let's have a look at some of these meeples. Okay, he's a pretty cool looking guy. I say, no idea what any of this stuff is. Um, uh, with with Layweights games, you can normally get like a metal version as well. Um, but this one, you kind of lose this really cool art, I think, on the on the metal ones. Um, I mean, look at this dude. And you've got your dragons. And there's a penguin in here somewhere. Just, you know, if you like penguins. Um, whatever that is. But yeah, lots of, lots of cool bits in here. Uh, nice wooden components. Uh, game tray here, so you can put everything back in. Um, and well, let's just check underneath the box. I don't think there will be anything, but it's always worth having a look. Unless, of course, you're playing a legacy game, then you shouldn't look under the box. You wait until I tell you to do that. Yeah, nothing under the box there. Right, so uh, that was me um, really attempting to unbox um, Live Siphon, but struggling, uh, even when I had both my hands. So uh, good luck if you do get this game and you want to unbox it, because it took me um, probably longer than it should have done to actually open that. Great. Um, that's about it for that. Oh, and you also get this cool bag. Yay! So that was me unboxing a box of Life Siphon. Um, yeah, really nice components inside. Um, lovely artwork, like I thought there would be. And the meeples themselves, um, they look really cool. So I'm very much looking forward to playing this um, with my significant other, although she doesn't realize this yet. Uh, and also the other die rollers when we are um, in a place where we can actually physically interact with each other. Um, so until next time, um, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, and of course, YouTube. Um, yeah, until next time, stay safe and keep rolling.